there are a lot of things that we need to kind of work together to implement on the ground to make sure that there are more inclusive opportunities out there. My name is Sara Badra, I'm from the World Youth Forum. And I'm here to let you know or tell you a little bit about my personal journey or personal story. Um, actually, you'll be surprised to know that you can accomplish great things in your desperate moments of boredom. And uh, perhaps my personal journey started one day sitting at the office desk, being super bored, looking for new opportunities, things I can engage in. And that's how I stumbled upon the Presidential Leadership Program. I signed up, I went there, I took the course. I started to engage in the national youth forums happening in Egypt, national conferences. And then at one point when I was super bored, I decided to think of something different. And then throughout my journey, I came to know that boredom is a very important telltale sign that something is wrong in your environment and you need to change something. When you're being bored, you know that you're being away from your passion. You're not doing something that you're passionate about. And that's when I decided I wanted to do something different. Uh, in one of the preparation meetings for one of the national youth conferences, sitting down with a group of my friends, we came up with the idea that, you know, it's great that we're having all of the young people from all over Egypt, but we're not really being engaged with what happens on a global level. And then we decided that what if we have a much more global forum being carried out in Egypt? And that's how the World Youth Forum came to birth and it saw light. We presented the idea and it was a great success starting from 2017. And since 2017, it was a pivotal moment because there was a drastic change in my activities, in my engagement, and how I became empowered as a young person, a young girl or a young woman from Egypt. The World Youth Forum grew to be one of the biggest forums worldwide. It became recognized on international levels. One of the most recent recognitions that we received as World Youth Forum was from the United Nations during one of the meetings from the General Assembly. It acknowledges the role of the World Youth Forum as a global youth empowering platform. Throughout the year we grew, we had plans, and we focused on a lot of different aspects. What really interests young people around and perhaps one of the key things that we focus on is entrepreneurship. Specific dedicated space for entrepreneurs and young businesses through the WYF Startup Labs and WYF Bain. And a lot of successful businesses started from there. Um, perhaps a year, my personal journey also started from the World Youth Forum. So it's not just coming up with an idea and presenting it, but also living the experience as one of the young people. Uh, during one of the forums, uh, specifically 2018, actually 19, we had a phenomenal speaker. Her name was Alec Quick, and for those of you who do not know who Alec Quick uh, is, she is a British supermodel, and she is Sudanese. So she actually escaped the conflict from Sudan and she became a refugee living in the UK and then gradually she became a success story known all over the world and one of the biggest supermodels in the fashion industry. And her story, her personal journey was very impactful that I decided since then, 2019, that I want to really advocate for those who are Miss represented for those who do not really have the voice to speak up for themselves, migrants and refugees. Since then, I was engaged with the major group for children and youth, and it was surprising to know that sometimes those vulnerable communities do not really have access to opportunities. And having a platform such as the World Youth Forum 
or a platform such as this summit is very important for them to be engaged and be included so that they can get their voices heard and that they can find opportunities that they can access. Because accessibility to opportunities and services is one of the key challenges for those who are vulnerable and misrepresented. And that's when I decided I want to kind of advocate more for this cause. Um, since then, I've been engaging and building partnerships uh, through the World Youth Forum, through the major group for children and youth, to empower young migrants all over the world to become their own source of empowerment. And that's how they can get engaged and find additional opportunities, unconventional opportunities, other than what governments cannot really provide for them. And since then, we've been working with partners such as IOM, UNICEF, UNDP, building a, a stronger network for those who cannot really reach or have the usual conventional opportunities. And that's how I gradually build the momentum to become something bigger in my career. And that's how I got nominated for one of the most prestigious posts, such as leading the, US, the UN Youth Affairs uh, Office. The thing is, having empowering platforms such as the World Youth Forum is monumental, it's super important. I would not be standing here today delivering this talk without platforms such as this one. And I assure you that there are a lot of things that we need to kind of work together to implement on the ground to make sure that there are more inclusive opportunities out there. So number one, developing stronger partnerships. Work on, with your partners on the ground, whether it's young people who are full of ideas, full of motivation, full of energy, or those who can offer funding resources and different opportunities and learning opportunities, such, such as UN agencies, NGOs, government bodies, etc. It's great to kind of bring all of the partners together at one table and see what you can come up with. Number two, if you are ever bored, it's a sign there is something wrong in your ecosystem that you need to change. It means that you're not really following your heart. It means that you're not really following your passion. And you need to do a little bit of research to know what really sparks you on the inside. And that's how you can transform your life. You become a completely different person. You'll be energized to do things you never thought you were able to do. And finally, with friends, you can go a very long way. If you think that you can do something on your own, you're wrong. Always seek help. Always build stronger so circles of connection. Always seek or, and look out for mentors and people who can coach you. People who have gone a very long way in your career and those people who can really guide you to your calling because they've lived the experience, they know what you're looking for and they can help you become more empowered and shortcut your path. So these are my three core advice for any one of you who are losing passion, who wants to kind of find their calling and become more empowered. And once you are empowered, you can naturally then empower others. Thank you so much.